The principle here is be nice. It's very simple. It's probably something we should have learned in kindergarten or before. Uh, it's something that maybe as we went through our teenage years, our adolescent years, that uh, maybe maybe we had to relearn. And I guess as adults, we have to learn it over and over and over again. Originating from deep inside the Rocky Mountains, transported through the power of the internet, and arriving inside your tiny earbuds. It's the Appraiser Coach Podcast. Minisode. 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 There's a book out there you've probably heard of. Uh, many of you have probably read it. Uh, it was quite famous years ago, um, but uh, uh, I, I think the title was Everything I Ever Needed to Know I Learned in Kindergarten or something of that nature. Uh, <laughs> I want to teach you about one of those lessons that uh, we should have all learned in kindergarten. But maybe some of us have not. The other thing that uh, many of you need to learn, uh, it took me a while to get there, folks. It took some convincing, uh, but I'm very, very happy I'm there. Uh, and that is utilizing ANOW software. ANOW, of course, is the software that I use to manage my entire appraisal office. You should be as well. It's ANOW.com slash coach. One more time, it's ANOW.com slash coach. All right, folks. Um, <laughs> the principle here is be nice. It's very simple. It's probably something we should have learned in kindergarten or before. Uh, it's something that maybe as we went through our teenage years, our adolescent years, that uh, maybe maybe we had to relearn. And I guess as adults, we have to learn it over and over and over again. And, you know, I think it's more about respect than it is about anything else. And this idea, especially online, especially in the social media realm, that we get into this world that that kind of being anonymous, and I know we're not completely anonymous on Facebook, but but kind of we are. It's so much easier to sit behind that keyboard and pound out our response to something, our visceral gut reaction to something. I don't know if it's doing us a lot of good. I'm not going to go into the details, but the prompting for the mini-sode today was a post that I had put on a Facebook forum yesterday. Again, the details don't matter. I asked a simple question. I asked a simple question, and when I look back at the question, honestly, folks, I mean, maybe it's just because I'm the one that posted it, and I'm the one that, that knows the inside scoop and why I wanted the answer to the question. But the answers that came absolutely make no sense to me at all. It's like especially appraisal. I don't know what it is about appraisers, folks. I don't know if it's we spend too much time in our appraisal cave or what, but it's like they sit back and just wait. And as soon as something is said, it's like pounce. They find a way to be negative. They find a way to, to, to kind of almost purposely, it seems like to me, twist your words, almost purposefully take what you've said and become negative. Now, the immature thing to do would, would, would now be to step back and say, well, well, fine, if you're going to treat me like that, I'm not even going to be on here anymore. Okay, well, to my detriment, maybe, maybe not. There's been forums that I've just stopped participating on. You can probably figure out which one it is. <laughs> it's not Facebook. There was just so much negative. I just, never was it positive. Never was it another, I shouldn't say never, very rare, was it another appraiser trying to help appraisers. A question is asked and and it's and it's and it's like let me help you. Let me let me answer your question without getting nasty. Folks, can we just be nice to one another? I mean, that's the message of the whole mini show today. Can we just be nice? I think it's in your best interest and it's in the best interest of everybody involved. Speaking of what is in your best interest, folks, have you considered ANOW software? ANOW, of course, is the software that I've been using for multiple years now. And for multiple years now, I have not regretted it. Now, I've talked to multiple appraisers across the nation in my masterminds, my appraiser academy, my all-star team, one-on-one -on -one coaching, and encouraged them to take a peek at ANOW software. Why? Well, folks, I don't get a commission on anybody that signs up for ANOW. Yes, they pay me to be a sponsor here at the podcast. I'll, you know, let's lay that on the table. That being said, if something is going to be helpful to appraisers, I'm going to push for it, regardless of their sponsorship. 
And I can tell you without a doubt that A Now Software has been a huge help to appraisers across the nation, a huge help to me in my own business, a time saver, allow me to work on my business and not in my business. It keeps track of absolutely everything that's going on. Check them out. Go to anow.com slash coach and get three months free to the all-star team. One more time, it's anow.com slash coach. All right, folks, we're back. Uh, very simple lesson today. Reminder, it's not a lesson. It's nothing new. Can we just be nice? <laughs> Can we just be, I mean, I I woke up this way. I, I posted something last night. It's a very simple question. Again, I won't go into the details. I want you going back and searching the forums, try to find it. But um, I, a very simple question. It was in response to somebody else. And uh, and I just, I it was, it was help. I'll give you this much. It had to do with marketing. Okay. Had to do with marketing. And I asked a question about marketing and, and a simply, a simple technical thing about, a, about, well, I'm getting into too much detail. Um, what came back was, well, don't you understand anything about marketing? It's not about this. It's not about that. Really? Well, can we just be nice? Can we just be nice? We're not in competition with one another. Oh, yes, we are, Dustin. We're all, we're all in competition with one another. Really? Or, or could we see it maybe through a different lens? Folks, it never serves us well to be mean. It just doesn't. And, and if, that's, if that's your feeling when you jump on a forum, then, then, then you know what? Pause. Go take a walk. Count to 10. The lesson here is a lesson that I learned many, many years ago. When, when Facebook just started getting popular, and, and you've heard the mantra before, but the gurus were basically saying, listen, if you're going to participate online, in any format, whether it be Facebook or something else, if you're going to participate online, this goes for email as well. Text can be so, and maybe I've misunderstood. Maybe maybe these individuals were trying to help and I just misread it. I doubt it, but maybe I misread it, right? The question is, and, and, and the principle here is, whenever you write something in text, read it to yourself out loud and, and ask yourself, would I say this out loud to somebody that I was nose to nose with? If I'm in the same room with somebody and they're a personage right there in physical form, would I say what I'm about to, to, to write or that I have written? And if the answer is no, change it or delete it. Don't hit the send button. I don't want to sound like a kumbaya. Uh, can't we all just get along? But can't we all just get along? <laughs> it's, it's really that simple. It's really that simple. Folks, I created a forum years ago uh, called the All-Star Team Forum. You won't find it on Facebook. It's a secret group, meaning you can't even search for it. Um, but I would love to have you be a part of that. We've got uh, lots of appraisers in there who are very active. And guess what? You're not allowed to be mean in there. <laughs> and people, you know, I don't even have to. You know what's fun about that group? I don't even have to monitor it. The type and the quality of people that are in there. I mean, it's been very rare that I've had to give anybody a warning. I think it happened once, maybe twice, in all the years I've been running it. And frankly, that was because somebody slipped in that wasn't even a member of the All-Star team. <laughs> when, I, when I realized that, uh, that, that this individual was being uh, a little bit uh, like some of the other forums, um, and, uh, and then I checked his membership, I thought, man, this is really weird, because that's not usually the quality that, that we get in here. I uh, found out that he'd slipped through the cracks and gotten in uh, by, by default, or by accident, I should say. Check it out. Go to uh, go to my website, theappraisercoach.com slash memberships. Check out the All-Star Team and uh, become a part of the All-Star Team today. You've been listening to the Appraiser Coach Podcast with Dustin Harris. If you like what you hear, please give us a five-star rating and post a short review on iTunes. For more in-depth insider information on how you can make more money as a real estate appraiser, visit theappraisercoach.com and sign up for the All-Star Team today. Thanks for joining us. And now, get out there and create some value. Every single episode, every single... Oh my gosh. Sorry, editor. Back up. Every single, 
Uh, what's a day? 